one very good reason to come to the engine shed, the birthplace of the locomotion industry in southern England, is to see this section of the pipe of Brunel's atmospheric railway. This was built in 1846 along the section in South Devon that runs along the coastline in front of Dawlish. Brunel had this idea that you could propel trains by creating a vacuum in front of a piston. And this pipe is the first time I've ever seen such an example. The train ran over the top of this pipe and a piston rod came down into the slot at the top and there was a leather valve and the piston ran along the leather and the air in front of the piston was sucked out by a pumping station and the only remaining one is at Star Cross in South Devon. So the train was driven by air pressure behind the valve at the base of the piston. And I've, I'm intrigued to see this section of pipe dating from 1846. The railway turned out to be a disaster because the leather flap was frozen in winter or it would be eaten, in, eaten by rats and the valve would lose its airtight qualities so the trains wouldn't run very well and the maintenance costs were rocketing. So this was a big failure and a setback for Brunel but the tenacity that he possessed ensured that his career would reach even greater heights which was when the Royal Albert Bridge over River Tamar was 